The Story of Wool Wool, not only as one of the oldest fibers known to man dating back to the 5th century BC, the wool industry is also one of the oldest agricultural industries in South Africa. The first merino sheep arrived at the Cape in 1789, and the sheep and the wool industry on a commercial basis was established not long thereafter. Today, wool is produced in most parts of South Africa, but the largest wool producing areas are the Eastern Cape, the Free State and the Western Cape. The South African clip is mainly a merino clip and has a reputation around the world as a quality and well-classed clip. Merino wool is used mainly for clothing. Over 90% of the wool clip is exported. The largest percentage, about 75%, is exported in the unprocessed form and the rest is exported as washed or combed wool. On-farm classing and clip preparation for greasy wool is of a high standard. Sheep usually are shorn once a year during the warmer months. Teams of trained shearers travel from farm to farm, shearing flocks by appointment. Shearers must be highly skilled and shearer training courses and shearing competitions are organized on an annual basis to keep shearers in top form. In South Africa, the SA Sport and Olympic Committee recognizes sheep shearing as a sport and local shearers take part in international shearing championships in our national colors. The world reigning hand shearing champion is a South African. A sheep's fleece is shorn off in one piece and then thrown onto a classing table. Fleece throwers are well trained and need much practice to lay the fleece evenly on a table like a blanket. This is done so that grass, seeds, hairy and weathered wool can be spotted and removed. The wool is then sorted according to the length, fineness and quality and color of the fibers in different parts of the fleece and put into the proper bin with other fleeces of the same class. When there is enough wool of the right class in each bin, it is packed into bales and labeled with the name and address of the owner, the symbol of its class and other details. The average wool production per sheep in South Africa is about 4 kilograms per year. After the wool has been shorn and classed on the farm, it is transported to Durban or Port Elizabeth where samples are taken for testing and inspection by the wool buyers. Before wool is sold, it is tested and certified by the Wool Testing Bureau of South Africa for fiber diameter or micron, vegetable matter content and clean yield in accordance with procedures laid down by the International Wool Textile Organization. Wool is sold mainly through the auction system but also by other means, such as contracts. Auctions are held in Port Elizabeth once a week during the season from August to June. Buyers bid against each other for each lot of wool offered. Each buyer then uses all the lots that he has bought to make up the orders his client overseas has placed. Most of the wool bought by the buyers is then sent overseas. Only members of the South African Wool and Mohair Buyers Association are allowed to bid at the auctions, which are held under the auspices of the South African Wool Exchange. A wool bale weighs around 150 kilograms and is pressed to high density to save shipping space before being loaded onto ships to be transported to clients all over the world. The main export destinations for South African wool are China, Italy, Germany, the Czech Republic and India. Today there are many other textile fibers, but as yet, science has not been able to produce another fiber containing all the natural properties of wool. The main properties of wool, which make it such a sought-after fiber, are Wool is healthy. Because wool has the ability to insulate against heat and cold, it protects against sudden changes of temperature. Wool can absorb up to 30% of its own weight in moisture before it becomes really damp. Wool is water repellent. While wool can absorb moisture, it repels liquids. The scales on the outside of the fiber cause liquid to roll off the surface of the wool fabric. Wool does not burn. Wool is naturally safe. 
it does not have to be specially treated to become non-flammable. While it can catch a light, it will not flare up nor support a flame. Instead of burning freely, once the flame is removed, a cold ash is left which can be brushed away immediately. Wool does not melt when burnt and so cannot stick to the skin and cause serious burns. Wool stays neat. Wool keeps its good appearance and stays new looking longer. It doesn't get shabby in a short space of time. Wool is versatile. Wool fabric, knitwear and carpets are made from a wide range of wool types varying from extra fine for suits and knitwear through to broad fibers that give carpets their strength and character. Because wool is a natural fiber, it can be recycled. It also is environmentally friendly because it is a natural fiber grown without the extensive use of herbicides and fertilizers. Wool Processing Raw wool must be processed before it can be made into a suit, jersey or jacket. The many steps involved include scouring, a washing process which removes the dust, sweat and wool grease. Carding Rollers covered with teeth tease apart the staples of washed wool, laying the fibers nearly parallel to form a soft rope called a sliver. Combing The comb separates short fibers from long fibers, ensuring that the long fibers are laid parallel to produce a combed sliver called top. Drawing Several tops are drawn out into the thickness of one to thoroughly blend the wool and ensure evenness or regularity before eventually spinning it into a yarn. Spinning The drawn out sliver is spun into yarn by inserting a twist into the yarn in order to give it strength. Weaving and Knitting After the yarns have been spun, they can be either knitted on industrial knitting machines into products like cardigan or socks, or woven into cloth for trousers, jackets, skirts or upholstery fabrics. Wool can also be dyed into a wide range of colors during any of the processing stages to produce bright, modern colors that last. Wool remains a masterpiece of design that has survived the test of time because of its unique natural properties. Indeed, nature's own choice.